In this lesson, we are going to cover study tips that can assist the student to take control and manage their educational goals. Upon completion of this lesson, the student should be able to Describe positive study habits Describe the components of effective listening Engage in effective note taking Prepare to study effectively using the SQRRR method and to incorporate strategies to improve test taking. In the online classroom, you should attempt to sit as close to the computer as you can and eliminate any distractions. If you are having trouble focusing or are prone to zoning out or daydreaming, review your notes from the previous studies until you can focus on what is going on. If the instructor takes the time to discuss a key point or says it a second time, take that as a clue and include it in your notes. There is a reason that the instructor is emphasizing this information. Listening is a conscious activity and is not the same as hearing. Effective listening requires skills to assist you in your learning. Before reviewing the videos, read or look over the material that will be covered that day. If an instructor gives you an assignment to assist in preparing you, get it done. And review the main points of the day in order to be more prepared. During review of the videos, if the instructor emphasizes something and says it more than once or points out that you need to review it, note this information. Stay positive. If you do not agree with the instructor or do not understand, write it down. And then approach the instructor later or add to a discussion once the instructor has finished. Be an active participant. Ask questions. Don't leave any questions unanswered and don't email, phone, or participate in social media such as Facebook or Snapchat, etc. during the studying process. Immediately after reviewing of the videos, review your notes and add clarifying comments. Look for answers to questions that arose and contact faculty if you have any questions that you were unable to locate the answer to. Students do not always realize that note-taking is a must. In order to learn from course content, you will need to be able to review and reflect on what was presented. To do this, you need effective note-taking skills. Before reviewing the videos, again read and prepare for what will be presented. Have note paper, highlighters with you and ready, and then if you're using a computer, make sure it is charged and ready to go. During the review of the videos, paraphrase or develop your own method of shorthand in order to document what is being said. Write legibly, but it does not have to be perfect. Use underlining, highlighting, stars, or other methods to document what the instructor has emphasized. Take as many notes as possible. And in your book, there's a list of common verbal signals that instructors might use to emphasize important information. You need to review this information in your textbook. Immediately after reviewing the videos, review your notes. Look for any information that was unclear and ask about it. Compare your notes with a classmate. Read over your notes and compare to information in your textbook. And then develop your own test questions to review for later. During college, your reading skills will improve. In the ASN program, we have been asked, do I have to buy the textbook? We try hard to understand why you ask this question, but as the answer is always emphatic, yes. We're now going to discuss some techniques that can help you become an effective reader. Maintaining concentration. When reading, make sure you are in an area that will allow you to focus on your reading. Don't read in front of the TV and minimize all your distractions. You will often have to make an effort to concentrate and engage. While reading, think of questions that you might ask the author if you could. Write these down and these will assist you with concentration. 
Try identifying the main ideas and concepts or topic of the information that you are reading. Watch for cues as you skim before going back and reading the information in depth. And then look for materials in the boxes or the tables. Many test questions come from these areas. Okay, so now let's relate some details to a main idea. Once you have identified your main concept or topic, look for the supporting information regarding the topic. Don't try to memorize every single word. This doesn't assist you with the learning the topic. Relate the supporting ideas back to your main topic. How does these ideas support the topic? If you find words that are confusing, write them down. Then go back later and look them up. Make sure you are identifying the major details that are related to the topic and focus on these for your studying. Highlighting appropriately. Read before you highlight. If you highlight the first time, you may highlight the whole section. Paraphrase certain sentences. This will help you learn as you put the material into your own words. Highlight more than about 20% of the material. Use different ways of highlighting or emphasizing materials, such as circles, asterisks, underlines, stars, or arrows, and then regularly review the highlighted material. Improving reading speed. Reading speed is directly related to understanding and comprehension. Be aware of the inhibitory factors of reading. See your book for the box. Learn habits that will improve your reading. See your book for the box with the habits. Do not become frustrated when you have to read a passage more than once to understand it. This is common and a good practice to assist with learning. Skimming and scanning. In order to focus on the main ideas of the reading assignments, first skim the text to identify the main concepts or ideas that you need to focus on. This practice improves retention of major concepts, ideas, and details. A method of studying that has been used for quite some time is the SQRRR method. Step 1. Survey or skim the material. Read the headings and the subheadings. Look for bold words in order to capture the main ideas. Step 2. Make questions out of the headings and subheadings. Write a question for each of the main ideas in the chapter. Answer these questions without turning to the book. Then go back and ensure that your understanding of the answer was correct. Review any unfamiliar terms. Step 3. Read the first assigned section of the book. In this program, not all the information in every chapter may be assigned. Compare the answer to the question you composed, and then write out the answer again in your own words. Step 4. Recite. In your own words, recite your answer to the question. Continue to recite the answer until you had the response correct. And then Step 5. Review. Review the information daily. Early review is more efficient and productive. Follow the steps in your book. Okay, so let's look at some study strategies. For every section of course content, spend two to three hours studying. Start with the most difficult or boring subjects. Use short but frequent study sessions, and these can be more productive. Get up early. Don't waste your waiting times. Review the lecture and avoid distractions, and sometimes it's helpful to study in a group. While it is very important that you put a lot of time into your schoolwork, it is also important that you find a balance between schoolwork and your personal life. Find time for your family. Keep healthy through appropriate diet and exercise, and spirituality is an important as well. Let's review a few test-taking skills. Structured response questions, a type of question when the correct answers are provided, with incorrect responses. The person must choose the correct response. There is multiple choice. Look at the question stem, question options, and the correct answer with the distractors. There's also true false, there's matching, there's restrictive response questions, which will be like completion or fill in the blank or short answers, and then there could be essay questions. The parts of a test question include the STEM. Um, 
It asks the question or presents the problem with any conditions that apply. It may be in the form of a complete or incomplete sentence. It may be either positive or negative in nature. A positive stem is used to determine if the test take understands the information and is able to take appropriate actions. A negative stem asks about something that is false. With negative stems, look for words such as not, except, or contraindicated. A stem may also be used to identify a priority. Make sure you understand what the object of the question is. We are going to discuss more about how to understand test questions in the NCLEX review lessons. We also have question options. Correct option and distractors. Distractors are created to distract the test taker from the correct answer. They are written to allow the student to use critical thinking. To make it simple, basically we will be providing you with the concepts and you will learn how to apply them. Preparedness is the main word to remember. Prepare your body, mind, and spirit by following a routine in the days before the exam. Get plenty of rest and eat a well-balanced diet. Don't stay up all night the night before the exam trying to study. This rarely produces the best possible results on an exam. Reduce your anxiety by allowing enough time to take the exam. Immediately before the exam, take the time to relax, collect your thoughts before you begin. Read each question thoroughly. All OTC exams through the ASN program will be given one question at a time. For each 50 to 75 question exam, you will be given one hour and 15 minutes. If it's a 75 question exam, you'll be given two hours. If the op option is available, review each question that you did not get correctly once you have obtained your score. If you must wait as soon as the exam is reopened for review, then review your answers to determine the reason that you might have gotten any missed questions wrong. The human brain is awesome. It functions 24 hours a day from the day we're born and only stops when we're taking an exam or fall in love. Actually, the best advice for success, including exams, comes from Venus Williams. Just believe in yourself, even if you don't, pretend that you do, and at some point you will.